Hi, this is Jadi and welcome back to another video of the Linux Power User series. This is the first video. I'm not sure if I continue it or not, but I was working and doing something for my job, which I thought it's interesting to share it with you guys. I have a log file. This is a real server. I have a log file, 244 megabytes. For sure, this is lots of lines. And we believe that one specific error is happening because of another specific activity during the night. I have that error line, but I want to count it and see when it happens, how many times per hour it happens, and if it's happening is in accordance with the activity we blame. The activity happens from 1 till 4 midnight, and I want to see how and when this error happens. Failed with key error. This happens in that file. Okay, let's copy this to have it for later usage. But first, let me show you the file. This is the beginning of the file. I won't browse through it because of the privacy of the customers, but this part doesn't have anything special. As you can see, normal activity, but time to time, we have that error. First, let's see how long the file is. Wow. 1.6 million lines of error, uh, logs. But time to time, we have that error. If we want to check that error, I can grep this in that file. Grep will search for this phrase in that file and return back only the lines with this phrase. I can pipe it to the head. See, the first time it happens at 1. This is the error. I want to count how many times we have each hour. But first, let's talk about the idea of piping and philosophy of the Unix tools. How piping works? Pipe is just works like a normal pipe. It gets the output of another command, feeds it as the input to the next command. So, normally grep would print every single file it sees. Every single line with this thing in it, it sees. Head normally gets all the input and prints only the head of it, only the 10 or so lines. So when you pipe this to that, what happens? The uh, output of this command is piped into this. So you won't see the output, the output is feed to this head, and head will print only the 10 lines. But we, what we want to do is, we want to count and see how many errors we have per hour. How we can do it using Linux tools. Linux philosophy was having small tools, highly efficient tools. They do one thing, but they do it great. And you can combine them using pipe, just like you play with the Lego. So let's keep the head here not to create lots of output by accident. I have this output. I want to separate this. There is a one nice utility which is called cut. I will do cut. The limiter is capital T. So it looks to the line, says okay, this is a capital T. So I will uh, separate this part as the part one. There is no capital T. So this is part two. So I will tell it. Delimiter is capital T, give me the field 2, second field. So I will get this thing. Let's see. Works fine. So I have this. I can add another cut. So okay, give the output to another cut. Now what I want is only this part. Easy. Delimiter should be this. So this will be the first field, second field, third field. So I will tell it that another cut, the limiter is colon, and I want field one. Now I have this. Practically, I separated the hour in which the error happens. If I look, it's like this. But still, this is not very interesting. I want to count them. To count them, I can say, first I have to sort them, then we have a command which is called unique, unique count. 
So this will count the input lines and say how many of each input line I had. And now you can see the error happens 1910 times at hour one, hour one, whatever, hour two, this time, hour three, this time, but still this is not super cool. We have a very nice tool which is called term uh, graph. This can graph whatever input you give it. But the input should be like one, I have 100 of this. Two, I have 300 of this. A, I have 400 of this. This will give you a chart like one, two, three. Sorry, A like this. I want to draw it like this. But the problem is my input is vice versa. I have to change the places. There is a nice tool which is AWK, name of the three initial writers. So again, I have reached this. I will give the output to AWK. What I want AWK to do is I want it to print. AWK automatically separates field based on space. So this will be $1, this will be $2. So I want it to print $2 space $1. Now this is my output. Now I can give again the output I've created from this grep to term graph. And ta da! You have the interesting chart you can show your manager and surprise her. See, we did all of this in less than 30 seconds. If I just was writing it, I know what I'm doing. I'm good with this thing. And more importantly, from the command line, you don't need any fancy thing, moving the data somewhere else, doing manipulation, writing a script, moving it to the Excel or whatever. You just created a very interesting chart and now our idea was correct because the error only happens during the other activity we have during the night. No other hour has this error and we know that the distribution is kind of even. So as soon as the other activity starts, we see this error. When it finishes, this finishes. Uh, we can even create it, make it a bit nicer. Here, we separated the hour. I want to keep the minutes. So we will know per, uh, we will have our chart per minute. It's easy. Here, we separated the field one, which was the hour. I will say, okay, separate field one and two. Now we have it in the minute two. But the problem is, this is too much information. I want to compress it in 10 minutes. So on 4.30, I want to show whatever happened on 4.31, 32, 33, whatever, 39. I want to show all of them here. What's your idea? If you want, you can pause the video, try to solve it. If you want to do it, search for other switches in cut. Now we have cut two fields and we have this. You, you need to add another pipe and cut only this part. Try and see if you can find it. Dash B for bytes. You can say I want dash B one to four. So it will give you dash b one two three four and you will get only this let's try it so when you have done your cut of the two fields you can add another cut and say cut based by bytes only byte one to four and see now it's much nicer it's searching only for this part counting only this but it's a bit, little bit ugly I want to add one more thing in my AWK. In my AWK, I can say, okay, uh, here I have separated this. I can say, okay, do one more pipe, do AWK, 
what I want to you to do is do print the whole input you got, then a zero. So now it's what we really need and what is really cool. You can say in this 10 minutes I had this many, in this 10 minutes I had this many. We just changed the added one zero here, but we were counting this. So what I wanted to show you is the logic of pipe and how knowing the very basic Legos will let you create nice buildings on the command line. And you saw how fast it is. If you wanted to move the file somewhere else, parse it with something, count something, that would be much, much, much more slower. But now even on the server, I have a very nice visualization of the distribution of this error. That's why we say Linux command line rocks. This is practically Unix command line. So you can have it other places too. On a Mac, WSL on Windows, and any place which supports Geno tools. Hope you enjoyed. By the way, if you don't, this is this term graph is not a uh, standard by the meaning that this is not installed by default. If you want to install it, you have to install it with pip or pip3 install term graph. Kudos to the writers and developers of it. Good luck.